hello and welcome to a new video. Today what I have for you is this 3x3 TNT door. It is currently the world's smallest and I don't think it is possible to make it smaller. So uh, right now Cube Master claims to have the smallest one but this is actually smaller than his. So let's see it in action. It closes. And if you hit the button, it also opens. Yeah. For the layout, you need to have a double piston extender somewhere. And you cannot power the piston through a wall because the walls are made of TNT. So you have to put a block behind it. And you can't really power it from one of those sides or left and right if it was for example up here because that would always power TNT or require you to place redstone on TNT or something like that so the only way I see of powering it is from the side so it has to be three blocks wide if you could do that another way then you could do it smaller but right now I think this is the smallest possible 3x3 TNT door so let's go straight to the tutorial. If you want to build this door, you need those blocks right here. 14 redstone dust, 6 redstone torches, 8 repeaters, 7 comparators, 2 redstone blocks, 4 pistons, 16 sticky pistons, 4 droppers, 5 hoppers, 1 button to input, 2 cauldrons, 2 furnaces, 1 trap chest for any items, <laughs> and one unstackable item, also 36 TNT, 32 building blocks and 7 stone slabs or any other slab. Yeah, the door has a volume of 8 by 3 by 9, so 216 blocks. So let's go. You want to start off by building a T flip flop right here with your button. like that and put an unstackable item in here. You can also input with a repeater from here or here. But the input should be around the length of a stone button. Then you go around like this, place a redstone torch right here and that's the first piston. Then we need a stone slab right here, repeater and another redstone torch for the second piston down here. So let's do this part. Uh, we need a sticky piston here and a normal piston right here to update it. Put redstone block here and right here. Then put a hopper hopper thing right there. And you will also need a trap chest to redirect this redstone. And later on, make sure to never open this because it touches the TNT and if you open it, everything will blow up. So that's just something you have to be careful about. So take a comparator output from here, put an item in there, and go into a monostable right here, into redstone dust and a block to power this piston right here. And you also want to have a furnace right here to prevent the piston from above from pushing. Yeah. A double piston extender right here. And to power that you want to have a two tick delay repeater right here. A sticky piston with a cauldron and water inside. With a comparator here. Yeah. That is all of this side down here done. Then you want to take a redstone torch from here. And make a slab tower to get the signal up. And place three pistons right here. Then you can take an output from here with another redstone torch and 
a four tick delay repeater. So here's the next two pistons, and you want to have a dropper hopper combo up here with any item inside. Going into two comparators and more comparators like this. Get your second furnace and place it right here with any item inside. This will be a falling edge mono stable uh, that goes into redstone dust like this. You will need an update piston right here. And you also want to have half slabs right here. Put a 3 tick delay repeater here, into a block, into redstone, more redstone there. Um, another update piston here, sticky piston here and there, with a block and a cauldron that is filled with water. And also place a redstone torch here and another piston right there. This is almost all of the door done. Now you only want to take a 4 tick delay repeater right here into a block with redstone dust and put another dropper hopper combo right here with a comparator going into there. This will give this double piston extender a second pulse. Now you can fill the frame with TNT and everything should be working. Just like this. And I think it's quite funny what these two cauldrons do when you open the door. So let's just have a look at that again. Yeah, that's already it. Uh, right now my holidays have just started, so I think I'll be able to do more Minecraft stuff in the future than I've done the last weeks. So if you like it, you can look forward to more videos in the near future. So bye!